So this video is going to be super fast just because I've been trying to do this video so many times and then getting the storage of my phone to full. So um, I'm gonna have to do this quick and fast instead of doing it detailed. I'll be putting some detailed information in the description and if you ask a question about this sound system of course I'll give my best input I can if I see your comment simple plug in an optical cable in the back of the subwoofer and plug it in in the back of your TV after that you want to plug in the HDMI 2.1 uh, gaming high resolution cable that you got with your PlayStation 5 into an eARC port or an ARC port eARC is better so an HDMI eARC port on your TV to go into advanced sound settings on your TV and make sure that the audio out is HDMI sound system and that eORC is on automatic and that digital out format is on multi-channel bypass. Now from here you want to go into the settings of your PlayStation 5, go down to sound, audio output and you want to put it to HDMI device, go down to this setting here, HDMI device type, put in AV amplifier, then put in on the number of channels of the AV amplifier, you want to put 5.1, go all the way down and put in Dolby Audio. You might get crackling when you do this, and that's because the audio decoding mode is uh, has essentially turned on, uh, which is you're now getting true surround information from your AV receiver. In this case, it's the PlayStation 5. If you feel like you can accurately output where your speakers are put in your room, then you can use the adjust speaker position and put them in like this. This is exactly how I put them in my room. So that works fine for me and it might not work fine for you. So if that's the case, then don't touch this setting at all. If your sound system is turned on, I can show you, we can turn it off and turn it back on. The decode uh, light should be turned on. Here are the recommended settings. Click level on your controller and dial up the volume to max on the subwoofer. I'll put the camera here instead. Then on the back firing speakers, you want it to be right about there, which is on that light. You can count the lights and then just do one, two, three down. So that light becomes more dim. Then you want the center to be on max volume and it's really up to you how much volume you want to use but I would never go above that much volume to that one. Um, not It won't hurt the sound system at all but if it's new and you just bought it I would play on lower volume. I recommend going on a max of like let's say there. This is loud uh, but if you really want to get power out of this, you want it to go up to about there when you're watching a movie. Now what about if you're in the stereo mode here and you couldn't get your PlayStation to decode the audio to true surround? Well, if you're in the stereo mode instead, then it's gonna look like this. This is just normal 2.0 stereo audio information being faked through the center, the fronts and the back channels. So you get the side tone audio from there and on the backs there and most audio will just simply come from the front speakers which are these two. They will send the normal stereo uh, with the subwoofer so 2.1 and then this and those two will be sending the 3D audio uh, to try to fake the back sounds. Uh, side tones, but it's not really true surround back information from the developers. It's just fake stereo mix. Here's something that is a misconception. If you put this to 5.1, then might that be better? No, it just takes normal 2.1 stereo from the front speakers and copies the audio back to the backfiring speakers. So it will sound exactly the same from those two to those two and the center will turn off completely, not getting any power output at all. And from my testing, the 2.1 stereo mix is not even normal 2.1 stereo mix. It goes to 16 bit and it has super low sample rate. So there will be a lot of latency on this and the audio quality won't sound as good as normal 2.1 
uh, audio, the normal 2.1 audio, if you want like normal 2.1 out of this, you need it to go into decode mode and you need the audio source to be natively only maxing out at 2.1. Then you will get normal 2.1 out of this. So if you're on your PlayStation 5 and you are in 2.1 uh, on, on a like YouTube video, it will say decode and it will only be sending information to 2.1. So that means this subwoofer and these two front firing speakers will be giving sound. And that is true 2.1 and that will sound way better than the 2.1 on the stereo matrix mix here. So if you're on that setting, you need to try to get it up to decode as of what I said, how to do that in the beginning of the video. Hopefully this wasn't too confusing. I tried to make it make sense as much as possible, but it's hard to explain these things so for people that might not really understand how it works. And I will maybe make more videos about this in the future if you guys want some testing of the units.